Okay, so hello, YouTube. Um, hello. hello again. It is the Omicron crew. I actually remember the name this time. Yay. <laughs> and uh, I know you guys are sad to see us back doing this again, but we are doing another pyramid. And it is a very exciting pyramid. And it is built out of um, iron. This time it's going to be iron, because, well, we have a diamond pyramid over there. And this was actually going to be something else, but... Well, let's just say it got very boring very quick. Yeah, and we kind of weren't sure exactly how we wanted to do it. and So, for whatever reason, it is that is no longer how we are doing... Uh, I keep missing this. Yeah, so, right now let's do some things, some new things that happened to me me and Volk. Volkshaw. Vork. I'm going to call it Volkshaw. Volkshaw. Neither no, of which. I'll try harder. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. So, first thing that's new that's happened is that me and Volkshaw both have a new skin. Yay. So, um, his oh. is, what's his name? I'm Lieutenant Forge of the, of the, of the Starship Enterprise of, um, Series Next Generation. And, um, I'm Ghost. You, you can only see the back of me because I'm in, you know, Third You're person. Third person. Huh? You're third person. I am in third person, but I can only see my back. Well, then go to your inventory. Yeah. So here's my front end inventory. You just saw my back. I'm Ghost from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Um, I don't even own that game, but... Oh, well. Yeah, it, it's kind of ironic. He, he likes the skin, but he doesn't know who Ghost is. Well, I know who Ghost is. I played the game before because I borrowed the, um... Uh, Modern Warfare 2 from a friend, but I don't actually own the game, so, yeah. Ooh, ow. Okay, and we also have some a special guest joining us today. Well, he's not really a guest, he's more like a permanent member of Omicron Crew. Welcome, Zanzar13. What? I thought he was already on Omicron Crew. Um, do you want to explain or do you want me to ex explain, Shred? Uh, you, you have a cool voice, you do it. Oh, I've never heard that before, but Okay. <laughs> Um, well, basically, we have, um, uh, well, Shred, the, the person who right now is Shred, um, Shred or Jame, to be exact, is actually, um, who Zanzar used to be, and the Zanzar now that's in the game is a friend of both of ours, and, um, the person who is now Shred was using the account Zanzar13 in order to um, make these videos, and then he purchased his own account, and so he has his own account now, which is we call nickname Shred. Um, so now our um, the user Zanzar13 is still in the game, but he is a different person. Uh, we hope to get his voice on audio at some point, maybe over Skype or something. Um, but right now, that doesn't look like it's happening for this video, sadly. Yeah, that's yeah. I think, yeah, that pretty much covers it, and, yeah, that's pretty much the new things that have happened, um, now, let's see, to make this kind of interesting so you don't actually just walk through a boring slideshow like you did last time, actually, it was actually quite interesting, I'll give, I'll give Volkshaw credit, he's, he's our editor. Yeah, and right now my computer's really lagging, so... I'm going to hopefully get a new, um, brand new 27-inch iMac. Well, actually, not brand new. Refurbished 27-inch iMac pretty soon. That'll be able to run this game faster. And I wanted to trap Zanzar inside that little box. I was, that's why I built this little column here. But he jumped out. I think he, I think um, Zanzar's been playing this game longer than we have, hasn't he? Yeah, he, play, he was the one who got me into it. And Shred was the one who got me into it, so. Yes, in fact, this is a kind of a fun fact for you, is, if any of you are actually listening. Um, Zanzar, I mean, not Zanzar, Volkshaw, Volkshaw was originally very hesitant of the game. Yeah, it was, uh, he, well, the way, um, Shred explained it was, um, it's a game where you get blocks, and you, um, with bad 8-bit graphics, and you build stuff out of them after mining them out of the ground, and getting them from, and the way he explained it, it sounded interesting, 
And so I went home and I went to the Minecraft website and I saw the classic version listed on the website. And I thought, oh great, I'll try it. And after four weeks, what well, was it four or six weeks of forgetting to try it over the weekend? Like I had it told was about four or six. Uh, four or six, yeah. Something like that. Maybe it was five. But um, after a couple weeks of, well more than a couple, more than a few actually, weeks of me always forgetting to try it, I finally said, okay, I'm going to try the classic version on the website. And so I tried it and I thought, man, this is really lame. And, um, but Shred kept saying, oh, it's such a wonderful game, such a wonderful game. Because the classic version is really lame if you've ever tried it on the website. Yeah. Yeah. It, it really is. I mean, it has no, it, if you're going to try to advertise yourself, do not use the classical version. Yeah, I, I don't know why they're trying to sell a product by giving you the classical version, which is, like, really lame. They should, like, give you a 10-minute trial of the beta online, and then, or one where you can't save your progress or something, or, you know, I... I'm sure they can come up with a better solution than what they have now. But anyway, so I tried that and thought, this is really lame. But then Shred kept saying, you gotta get it, you gotta get it, you gotta... So I looked up some videos and I thought, oh, that does look interesting. So I bought it. And then I became obsessed with it. Yes. It was a very good thing. Because then he finally set up this multi server which, which we are on now. Because me, I could not have done that, first of all, because I didn't actually own my own account. And second of all, I'm just not that good at technology. Whereas I'm a techno computer geek person, so he's he's more into techno things than any than anyone else I ever known, <laughs> and even more than some adults too. <laughs> it's kind of gets scary, everyone. <laughs> so um, and actually, speaking of viewers, I fi we finally like to say is that our first views were kind of a hit. We got somebody got some people from from. From out of the United States, so we know we are getting some viewers now. Um, there was one person from uh, Turkey, and there's one person from Poland who are watching our videos. And so, if you're watching them now, shout out to you guys um, from Poland. And I think wasn't it Turkey? Yeah, it was Turkey. Yeah. So anyway, that was cool. I just want to say that's really cool. I'm I'm glad that you guys think we're somewhat interesting, and you guys got through our videos. Or maybe they accidentally uh, clicked on the link and then left as soon as they could, but their computer froze, so it kept playing the video until the end. Which is also possible. <laughs> it's also possible. But, yeah. I just wanted to say thank you for that. Um, oh, yes, subscribers. I mean, subscribe. Yes, I mean, you don't have to necessarily subscribe. I'm, it would be very nice, though. Very, very, very nice. Well, let's give them a little incentive. If we get ten subscribers, we'll um, uh, take one user's suggested idea, maybe? Okay, so if we get 10 subscribers, we will build one thing that the, um, uh, one of the subscribers suggests in the comments or in a message to us. Yeah. Ooh, speaking of which, if you are watching this, at least leave one comment. It just helps us know that somebody is actually watching it, because... And then all the views aren't just us clicking on a video to make sure it still works. Yeah. <laughs> which we tend to do quite a bit. Um, oh, uh, something else, um, that I thought was kind of interesting. You can, um... <clears throat> I'm not sure exactly how this will work from multiplayer. Well, anyway, there's a cool channel, Kurt J. Mack. Um, he has a, he's doing this expedition Farlands, and uh, yeah, but any you, you huh? probably know about him because you probably watched him. He's I would say a very very hilarious person. Yeah, he's a very interesting. Uh, he runs a very interesting commentary, and um, so I just want to say he brought up this really good point in one of his videos. Um, about how you can upload your world to the internet so that other people can download it and explore it. And I was thinking if we could figure out how to do that with our multiplayer server files, that would be amazing because then you guys would get to be able to explore our pyramids and our free fall and all that. Let's, w but let's wait until we actually get a lot more things into this place. Right. I'd say build uh, all the other pyramids we were planning, finish... Oh, I'll show you guys my lava high dive in another video. It's... Way out yonder. I, oh, it's in, I'm pointing in the wrong direction. See that? Way out there. It's this lava high dive that we built. Well, that I built while uh, Shred was on vacation. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's one of the reasons why we haven't uploaded anything. But since we have no subscribers... Uh, never mind. I better stop mentioning that. It, it just makes me kind of depressed. <laughs> the fact that we don't have any subscribers except one of our accounts. Okay. But anyways. The real... Oh yeah, I was just gonna mention about the pyramids that that what that what um Gulf Shaw was mentioning earlier. Uh huh. Was that um 
We're gonna make also a gold pyramid. And maybe an obsidian one. Maybe, but then it wouldn't be able to blow up. Oh, yeah, that's true. Maybe it'd be the, called the indestructible pyramid. And what we could do is we could fill it with TNT and then hide outside of it and hear the really cool noises coming from inside and see that little white stuff pop out of the top. Like a volcano. Oh, maybe. Maybe. That may be a good idea. I'm so, not sure. <laughs> we'll have to think about it. Talk it over with, um, Zan. Zan Zar. Zan and Zar. <laughs> Zan and Zar, yeah. which is the same user. <laughs> so, this is kind of going to be an experiment episode. Of course, every first episode of a new Minecrafter or gamer. Well, more gamers than Minecrafters. If you have any suggestions on what games to play that aren't too gory and are not too much of core, that limits it down, doesn't it? That gets rid of every single modern interesting game. What a shame. <laughs> Not necessarily, but it does give it a lot. But, yeah. but anyway, if you have any in, any interesting game ideas, especially like free online games, that would be those would be we'd be most likely to probably play those that we wouldn't have to purchase copies. Um, like for example, RuneScape. Not that we're gonna do RuneScape videos. Um, no, I I think there's so many of those. And also, what would you do in a RuneScape video? Here I am making more oak log. Uh, mining, uh, uh, cutting down oak trees so I can get oak logs. whoop de doo here I'm walking to the Grand Exchange. Now I'm going back to, I mean, it's so repetitive. Not to say Minecraft isn't sometimes repetitive, but RuneScape is so repetitive. It's just, it's sometimes fun to play, but it, I don't think it'd make good Let's Play videos. Should we tell them about our uh, little Sky Dimension surprise or not? Um, that should just be... Um, no, we have to wait until we actually know somebody's actually watching us before we... You don't want to pull in viewers by taking this golden opportunity? Eh, I think it's more suspenseful if we just let them wait. Okay, well, viewers, expect something cool. Expect a cool announcement from us when the Sky Dimension comes out, okay? Okay, you, that, I guess that's what both show will say. We will definitely do something in the Sky Dimension. I've, we've already told Volksha... And I've already decided decide something. As soon as as soon as it comes out, we're gonna do a, just a let's play and just kind of tour it, and then we're gonna announce something else about it. Exactly, and I think that's all that needs to be said on that subject for now. Yes. Um, we currently don't know when exactly the release date for the Sky Dimension is. So yeah, if anyone if okay. anyone knows an exact date, please comment below. We would be really interested to find out. Yes, because I we. It would help us plan better, because we were thinking of another idea, but it kind of get it kind of got us a little bit discouraged. Yeah, should we tell them what that one was? Uh, no. It it would they would immediately figure it out if we told them. Figure what out? That we're not, we're not going to do it, are we? We're not going to do it, but then they would immediately think, "Oh yeah, then you connect the dots." What dots? Oh, you get what I mean, Volkshaw. No, I don't. Uh, it's a little bit too obvious. Well, what do you mean? If you mean connect the dots as to what we're doing? Yeah. But we'd be telling them what we're doing. I know, but then they would immediately figure it out. What, what we're going to do with the sky dimension? Yeah. No, I'm talking about the giant, um, the 150,000 block long thing we were planning to make that we decided not to.